Mr Crispin here today with a short video on making a tapping chuck which as you'll see is a uh, handy aid for tapping on the lathe, pillar drill or milling machine. Typically when I'm uh, tapping a hole on a machine I like to use a uh, spring loaded centre and uh, as you can see here this tap has a small centre hole in the end and uh, you put your spring loaded centre in the tailstock chuck or spindle and uh, that can be compressed and then the spring tension pushes on the end of the tap and that keeps the back end of the tap on the straight and narrow when you're tapping a hole. Quite often though you come across taps such as this one where the end of the tap has no centre hole in it and on this one for instance you've just got a uh, little point. Um, there are ways of getting around that you can put the tap in a tap wrench that has a centre hole in the end and then use your uh, spring loaded centre again or what some people like to do is lock the tap up in a Jacobs chuck and then wind the lathe chuck round by hand and allow the tap to pull itself in or you can release the chuck from the machine taper and carefully follow it in allowing the uh, taper to rotate within the socket and all those work and I've, uh, I've used all of those in the past uh, However, a friend of mine called David Tyshurst has shown me his tapping chuck which is basically a Jacobs chuck that can move freely along a piece of silver steel. And to use this you put a piece of silver steel in the Jacobs chuck. You can then put the tap in the tapping chuck and that then can slide along the bar and turn freely and you can use it for tapping. So to build this tapping chuck we need a chuck and a bolt that will screw in the back and in the case of most DIY chucks that's a half by 20 and also we need a nut that can be used as a lock nut a piece of 3 8 silver steel and a uh, chuck key for good measure and uh, to assemble it it's very straightforward I'm going to tighten that right up and then screw the lock nut in. So now that's on, we need a reamed hole up the middle. And uh, the reamed hole wants to be concentric with the jaws. And uh, the best way I can think of doing that is to machine the diameter here so it's concentric and then lock the chuck on and then drill the hole. So I'm just going to skim this diameter so it becomes concentric. So all that remains now is just to lock this up. So I spin this up. You can see the bolt's a bit eccentric. The truck body's pretty good, but uh, none of that actually matters because I know that the hole that's going to go in will end up concentric to the jaws, which is what matters. And we can check our silver steel. Seems pretty good to me. Okay, well that's that finished. I'm pleased with how it's come out. I uh, went back and just drilled a small hole right the way through to prevent that airlock from hindering uh, operation. But, uh, I can go and shorten this piece of silver steel now um, and chamfer the ends and that will be ready for action. So I hope you've enjoyed watching.
and see you on the next video.